Working with uh, John Balance and Sleazy was, uh, you know, it was definitely a pivotal period in my life. I mean, it was definitely a complicated time. It wasn't easy, you know, because of everything that John was going through. Uh, but there was moments of, uh, you know, moments of incredible inspiration, uh, moments of insanity. Uh, but also, I think for me, it was a really good part of my my education in a way, you know, I was working with, definitely working with Peter Christofferson, uh, changed the way that I, uh, that I made music, that I created art. It wasn't that I replicated anything that he was doing, but it inspired me to do different things. So yeah, I mean, that was uh, definitely very important. Uh, Psychic TV, I really just played with them um, uh, for, uh, for a tour. I wasn't with Psychic TV for a very long period, but uh, I, um, I did things differently with Psychic TV than I did before. So that, that wasn't quite as formative as uh, working with Coil, but definitely part of uh, what went on is subsequently uh, informed uh, the rest of my music. So Unnatural Channel is a continuation of Collapse, you know. Um, f Collapse uh, was definitely inspired by, uh, it was inspired by lack of sleep <laughs> more than anything. I wasn't sleeping and uh, uh, I, I was going through this process of uh, having hypnagogic uh, imagery where uh, I, uh, I would start to enter a kind of dreamlike state even when I was awake and, uh, you know, strange monsters would appear. <laughs> and uh, so, but it, again, it goes back to also the themes of uh, Unnatural Channel, you know, the idea of disintegration both on a personal level, on a political level and on a global level. You know, the idea with uh, Unnatural Channel uh, was um, to follow on a little bit with some of the themes from the last LP of, uh, of uh, disintegration and uh, re-evaluation of uh, humanity's place in the scheme of things. You know, this idea that humanity is some something special, you know, that somehow that we d deserve special privileges and, you know, it's led to the kind of world that we're in, you know, with the impending, e you know, ecological disaster that we're all about to, uh, to go through. The apocalyptic uh, future that's basically just around the corner, a couple of decades away. So it was the idea of that. For me, the idea of what would non-human, non-animal 
communication be about? You know, what if if humans aren't the primary point? If there is no point, and we all live on this same plane, you know, what are the channels of communication? And I just like that idea of you know a natural channel because you know we've got this completely skewed idea of what's natural and what's not, and. Uh, uh, I wanted to play around with those concepts.